swimsuits in another area, the swimsuits had no consistency yeah, to sign in. Yeah, we haven't been able to find that same one. So, I mean, part of it is that's, that's one of the reasons why I love the OP brand. Yeah, well, actually, we can, we'll, we'll do something real quick, which people aren't going to get, you know, normal seat. Okay, people, this is an extra small swimsuit, folks. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to show people something real quick on camera. Okay, I'll get over here. Okay, um, like, I, look, I am 5'10", folks. You mm -hmm. can see me. I'm 200 plus pounds, and um, she is, you'd think that, you know, I am a big person. I am really, I get back to the camera, I am a big person. She is a big lady, but try putting her into a bigger swimsuit. I know, now I'm sitting there looking at her going, you're 220 pounds and you're standing behind me. Of course he was, how far were you behind me? Uh, that's the uh, that's the that's problem. This is a 3D camera, so it basically screws with your definition. I'm, I'm behind her enough. I'm hiding behind her, you couldn't see me, but uh, you can see I'm 220 and about 5'10 because I shrank. And she is not a small, delicate person, but if you put her in a, in a, in a swimsuit for her size, the suit's too god-awful big. I mean, would you want her, okay, this is what a lot of women, basically a lot of women complain, because we just came back from magic. A lot of women complain that they can't wear the clothes. The sizing is all wrong. Mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, extra small, this is what a person her size should be wearing, this, this size swimsuit. I mean, instead, they'll, they'll uh, well, you know, you shouldn't be wearing a suit that small. You should be wearing like a medium. It doesn't fit you. Turn around in medium bottoms. Uh -huh. That's the trick. I mean, they're just, we're just showing you a fashion trick. Why? Women, basically, they're, they're getting screwed at the market on the clothes sizes. Well, actually, I had just seen an article where they were sitting there talking about it. And they said a, a female size, let's see, depending on the brand, would go from like a size 2 to like a size eight, tw 10 or 12. I'm like, yeah. that seems like a pretty broad range. They're trying to they, make the women feel good, but the women go, no, no, I mean, like, we, 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 we flip the camera so we start over again. Like, I'm not small, folks. I'm see, here's, here's part of it is, I, <coughs> I have heels on, I'm 5'4 and 3 quarters. Yeah. And I have heels on. And it puts her up at my height. And you're how tall? I'm 5'10". And how many? How much do you weigh? 220. I'm not going to tell you how much I weigh. Yeah, of course <laughs> can, well, I'll put it this way. I weigh a lot more than she does. But I'm not in as bad a shape as people would think for first night. But the problem is, we, we just came back from magic. And I'm listening to the women over there, the buyers, saying, you know, Basically, because what happens is a lot of women buyers are trying to close on themselves to see what they look like. I heard one woman over one of the things, it just can't be a size 4. Mm -hmm. It's totally impossible it's a size 4. And they said, why? Because I can't get into this thing. I'm a size 4. And he said, I, uh, you know, I could wear it in a tent, mm -hmm. make a nice tent. And she's got, then she gets on a gown, you know, one of their gowns that they had, and she's, you know, basically holding it up like that. But they, sometimes they call that vanity sizing. Yeah, they're trying to make uh, heavier women think they're, like she's pointing out, my clientele is not heavier women. My clientele is the everyday woman. You know, it, it's a soccer mom. They're not out of shape. They're not out of condition. They're, they're, they're well, fairly they attractive. They want to wear clothes that fit. I think sometimes it depends because, you know, like the heavier woman, they feel better because they can fit into a smaller size. But also the same challenge is, is that you know, I've looked at Costco, right, because Costco seems to get some really good value. I cannot buy jeans at Costco because they're too big. Yeah. And I know you're thinking, what? They're too big. Yeah. Their fours are too big for me. Yeah, their fours are too big because they're trying to make, um, it, it is all vanity sizing. We're trying to make heavy women think they're smaller. Mm -hmm. There was a time that what they did was they, because the, they wanted women to, to think they were, have you, you know, basically, look, I'm from the era, Marilyn Monroe's a size 16, folks, mm -hmm. a real size 16. Jean Harlow was like a size 14. Uh, we're talking, Carol Lombard was like a size 14, where women were great big women, folks. Well, you know, I would think as a buyer that that really screws you up. I mean, you have to have an idea of who you're buying for yeah. and what their sizing is and the demographics and what they like. But if you think you're buying a size <coughs> 4 and actually it's more like a size 10, yeah. it's not going to really work with you. may find yourself with excess inventory. No, because, uh, like you said, my, 
my client, you know, my client are upscale soccer to moms, they're business women, mm -hmm. they like to look attractive, and you give them this size, they go in looking for a real size, okay, so the problem is, there's no sizes under two. Mm -hmm. No sizes, they didn't carry any sizes under two. And the woman sitting there, he said, you know, I can't tell you the words she was using, but what the, have they got a, they, I, I can't sell this stuff to my people, mm -hmm. they won't buy it. And then they're trying to explain, yes, but women like this design. They said, I can turn around in it. I'm a size two and I can turn around in it. Mm -hmm. And they're like this, they give her a size four and they didn't go any lower than two. Mm -hmm. And if the two, if the four was like a size 10, you know that two it must be a size eight. Mm -hmm. Which means you can still turn around. I mean, it works the same for men's clothing, folks. I mean. Although I don't think men's clothing is off quite as much. No, but men's clothing uh, is dead on the market. Because you used to say American sizing and European sizing. Ah. And European sizing, of course, was more fitted, and American sizing was okay. Uh, I can guarantee geared you. Geared for a beer belly. Um, here's what we, like we do. We have the American sizing and the European sizing. We have the, the Indian and the Pakistani size, though. So. Oh, which? Which means an extra large made over there is not a. Well, you it's know, large. we've discovered that because remember, I've seen places where I'm going, what is the store? We go inside, and it's like the large is really tight on me. Yeah. Right? And then I find that it's made in India or made in Pakistan. And it was made for their sizing, so when they brought it over here, it's like nobody could well, buy it. She gives, <laughs> so me, you know, wear it. she gives me the extra large t shirts, and when they're made in Pakistan or India, they're all god awful. I mean, if I want to go look, you know, like I was Superman and have all my muscles bulging. Yeah, but I, I, but the problem is, is one of those t-shirts you, if I want to go, yeah, you know, because they're very tight. They're hard to get the peel off. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's the problem. It depends upon, okay, where the shoes are made. I mean, like my shoes, these shoes are made in the United States. They have an American size on them. But when I go to that same size in a shoe made out of this country, it doesn't fit. You know, sizing is very important. I mean, okay, <clears throat> another thing about sizing, um, a lot of males are like me. They're, okay, males come in basically three forms. One is basically they're symmetrical from the top to bottom, or they got short legs, or tall from up. You can't find pants for men with short legs. Well, actually, you have a hard time finding that. I cannot find slacks. So you actually come over, come over this way for a minute. No, okay. my little legs. Well, it's kind of hard. Lift, lift your shirt up. Yeah. I know, okay. see, but... So you can kind of see, although it's kind of dark with... I know, we're still... I, my legs... See, let's see, your belly button's right here, my belly button. I know, see, I, she, my legs are actually four inches shorter than her legs. She knows it. We, if we find a pair of pants, we grab them. But they, they uh, I'm talking to people, well, you know... For him. For him. I'm talking to people at the at, 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 at street and men's, and, men, and, uh, and, and men's wear. You know, slate basically on the place, but... Uh, you know, like, how about a pair of jeans that, you know, well, what you do is you just roll up the pants leg. They don't want to roll up the pants leg. They want a pair of dress jeans. And, well, we don't make, we don't make, we do, we do make your size. And I said, okay. The guy said, I do make your size. We can get any place, any distributor in this room will carry your size. And I said, God, I mean, it's like, what, did, did it happen? And then he, and they bring me out a pair, they have 40 inch waistline. Mm -hmm. Generally, guys with big waistlines have short legs. Why is that? I have no idea. But I said, uh, my waistline is seven inches smaller than that. And he said, well, it shouldn't be. I love that. Well, it shouldn't be. I remember what was it, when you went to go look for a suit. And they said, oh, yeah, we have it to fit your waist. And then it was like seven inches too long. Yeah. Oh, well, God. It was, it was, well, and they're like, well, you could just wear this <coughs> up to, like, I'm going, you're going, what? No, no. Is there somebody that's trying to sell the suit? You can just wear the suit up to here. You know, that's becoming more popular with the well, older gentleman. I, I, I'm say. older, okay, I'm older. I, I, I mean, we, we went to one, we finally went to get my, my good tuxedo where they brought the, of course, the pants leg were like this. And um, they, they, they basically, I got, they tailored the thing for my legs, which are short, and I didn't have the waistline tangled with at that moment because then I it was but I, what you do with guys with tuxedos actually wear suspenders, they don't wear belts. So everything is adjustable on a man's tuxedo bottom, but they cut seven inches off of my legs. But the pant the waistline actually I, you know fit the way it was, so I didn't want to mess him with it. Because the thing with a guy is a guy is like a woman. If a guy eats too much or drinks too much, his waistline gets too big. 
and we were also going out to the Academy Awards that night, so I didn't want to, you know, I'm eating a lot, so. But uh, it's fashion, they do have a problem. Women have problems with sizes, men have problems with sizes, is that you can't find things that fit you if you're a male. Mm -hmm. But God, I mean, okay, here's my problem. I got a, I got a, a 52 inch chest. Uh, that that basically doesn't get into anybody's t-shirt line, you know, because I have, I have a, big, a big chest and a narrow, I go down like this. So you're going to wear, you're going to wear a, a shirt that's way out like that? No, so I don't, you know, I don't get t-shirts. I mean, God, this thing here is an extra, extra large. Mm -hmm. And you can see it just, um, it sticks way out to my side when I stick out. So, you know, I look best, my, my, my tuxedo shirt is tailored. Which makes it look better on me. I, I, we go, we go to Eric Estrada, and I go to Eric Estrada, and uh, who we've talked to about shirts because Mary Eric Estrada said he invented the uh, the dress shirt that basically is sort of like the baby diaper, where you you put it on and come down the back, you pull it up in the front, and it keeps your shirt keeps your shirt nice and tight. Mm -hmm. um, I remember um, because I did some. I mean, Jimmy Darren is actually a songwriter, singer James Darren, right? And for the days the Gidget goes a lion, she goes all the way, you know. I had to sing behind him. And I was the only person that actually could surf in any of those movies again, too. But um, he, he said he was very proud, you know. I'm a, I'm a two-tuck man. A two-tuck man. Which meant, you know, that, well, you know, that basically they take a dress shirt in and they do two tucks in the side to make it look like a slim down. Mm -hmm. and it was like in any other I saw him at a Star Trek convention in Pup. 50 years later, and he said, I'm still a damn two tuck man. So, yeah, which means, you know, 50 years later, he's in his 70s, and he's very proud of the fact that that, that body is still there. <laughs> and and he, as he told me, it's not from good living, folks. <laughs> no, but it's hard. Um, I mean, she knows that my best shoes were made for me because I have an oddball shoe size. My shoe, I'll uh, try one man's shoes, okay. This.